Hakuna kama wewe wewe ni mwema haufanani shwi wewe ni mwema bwana chuwewe ni mwema
Spirit of God. Feel this place with your presence. Ah, Holy Spirit of God, you're welcome. Touch our hearts like never before. Touch our hearts again, just a little again. We desire more of you. We desire just a little. Holy Spirit, move. Holy Spirit of God, move. Move freely, Holy Spirit of God. Ah, Holy Spirit, move. E Holy Spirit of God, move. This is your place. Our hearts, ah, soften our hearts to your moving Holy Spirit that we may feel your touch afresh. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Forgive us. We sincerely repent, Holy Spirit. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us the times we have said we are going to not do it and we ended up doing the same thing over and over again. Forgive us the times we say we are going to come and worship you, Lord, only for us to come and steal the glory of, the co of you, O King of Kings. Forgive us the times we say that... <laughs> The times we say that you alone are worthy only for us to go and do something totally different. Forgive us, Lord. We sincerely repent. Even the times we become too familiar with your voice. Especially the times we become too familiar, God. And we come only the times that we have burdens. Lord, we repent. <laughs> Ah, Father, we repent. King of kings, we repent. We bow before you, Lord. You are worthy, King of kings. Remember mercy upon us, Lord. Remember mercy, God. Do not punish us like we truly deserve. Do not punish us from your presence, Lord. Do not withhold your Holy Spirit from us. Holy Spirit of God, help us again. Especially when we are unable to surrender. We ask that you may help us surrender. Teach us, show us surrender. Surrender of our hearts. Surrender of our bodies. Surrender of our minds. That you may fully have your way. That you may fully move in us. Take the glory that only comes to you, Father. Receive glory, God. Because without you, Father, we are nothing. You are God all by yourself. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You remain the same, God. Your word remains the same. You are too beautiful, God. You are too beautiful. As we behold you, Father, you are too beautiful. We belong to you, Lord. We are fully surrendering to you, God. Help us. Help us, Holy Spirit of God, help us. Search our hearts. Expose the very things that we have not yet surrendered to you and help us surrender. Let this, let this moment be a moment of you and us whereby our minds are struggling. Help us, Holy Spirit. Help us to cast down every thought that is exalting itself above the knowledge of Christ now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Move, Holy Spirit, that we may experience your move afresh. Pour your spirit afresh on us, that we may experience you afresh. Let us fall in love with you again. Teach us how to fall in love with you, Holy Spirit. My God and my Father, help us to fall in love, completely fall in love with you, like the first time. Remove us from the place of comfortability. Remove us from the place of just thinking it is always the same. Teach us with an understanding how to seek you, Lord. That it can be you that we see and not ourselves, Father. Remind us that we are the righteousness of God. You who sit high on the throne. And because there is none like you, help us. Lord, pour your spirit afresh on us, Holy Spirit of God. My God and my Father, remember mercy upon us. Lord, remember mercy.
we are not worthy king of kings remember mercy god remember mercy where our hearts are troubled lord we surrender them at your feet god for you care for us you say bring all burden cast your burdens unto me for i care for you lord we cast our burdens unto you today we want to sit at your feet oh my father our Lord Jesus Christ, help us sit at your feet so that we can hear of your word. Lord, I pray that you may be seen and revealed, O oh God, nothing about us but more of you, God. As you search and look unto us, God, help our hearts understand you, Lord. Help our minds understand you, God. Open the eyes of our understanding, Father. That when we partake of you, God, it will not be the same again. That when we enter this house, Lord, your house, oh my King. When we come out, Lord, it will not be the same again. Oh, Holy Spirit of God, we thank you. Father, we thank you for everything. We thank you that you have given us breath of life. Your very breath, oh God, you breathed upon us, Lord. Father, we say thank you. We thank you for the good health, Lord. Ah, God, you have preserved us, King of Kings. In our going out and in our coming in, Lord, you have preserved us, God. We say thank you. We thank you for our families, God. You have continuously seed and you have allowed us to come and seek your face, Lord. We have come to say thank you again. We shall not tire to say thank you, God. Thank you that in our very daily days of every day, God, we see your hand. Even days when we do not acknowledge it, God, we have come to say thank you. Lord, we pray that you'll be lifted up again. You'll be lifted high above all things. Lord, we exalt you for your king all by yourself. We bow before you, Lord. We acknowledge that you're God. And there is none like you, Father. Now, Lord, make our hearts ready. Make our hearts ready to hear from you, Lord. At your feet, King of Kings. At your feet, Lord. The most high place is where we want to be, is where we want to sit. That you may be seen, Lord. You may be revealed again and again, Lord. May it not just be about us, Lord. Lord, we ask for your peace and comfort that our troubled hearts will experience your peace and comfort again. We are sorry the times that we went to look for solutions somewhere else rather than you, God. Please forgive us, Lord. We are also sorry the times we thought that we have it in control, yet it is you who has been helping us. Father, we pray that today, God, it may be different. That as we wait patiently on you, God, because you said, wait, wait upon me. Lord, as we wait on you, God, we shall not get weary. We shall not faint. We shall seek you, Lord. I pray that you may teach us to seek you afresh. I pray you may teach us to understand the basics, the basics of falling in love with you again. I pray that as we come before you, Lord, it is more of you and less of ourselves. We decrease, Lord, that you may increase more. Help our hearts rest. Help our hearts settle in knowing that you are God all by yourself. That in the good you are God, in the bad you are God. In the things that we are not proud of, you are still God. Thank you, our Lord Jesus Christ, for dying on the cross for us. There are times we forget that. Help us now to remember that we have been made righteous through faith by your death on the cross just for us. I pray today we will experience John 3.16 that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever, whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. I pray that this word today 
will be full in our hearts. You love the world that much to send your son. What about us? Who are we that you are mindful of God? Who are we that you take care of God? That there are days we did not ask, you still answered. There are days we did not even need God, you still provided. For your Jire, our provider. Rafa, our healer. And Nisi, the one who fights our battles. The battles we see and also the battles we don't see. My God, my God, we have come to say thank you. Lord, we thank you for everything. Our Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We sincerely thank you for everything that we have at hand. And for the prayers that we have made, Lord, we thank you. For the things you did before, Lord, we thank you. For the things you're doing now, Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Abba. Thank you, Abba. Thank you so much, Abba. Let this be more of you and less of ourselves. Hear our hearts alone. Hear our hearts, God. Open us. Open us to receiving of your word. Help the posture of our hearts. Create in us clean hearts, Lord. Hearts that seek after you. Hearts that are rooted in you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. your name because you have been good and kind to us Lord God Father Lord Jesus even as we hear your word Lord God may we understand may we take them into practice Lord God for it is in Jesus name to be trusting and believing Amen, Amen. Praise Jesus. <clears throat> Praise God again. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God again. Amen. Um, I am happy to be here with you guys and I'm happy to see you today. Um, so today, our word for today comes from the book of Psalms 40. Um, as I read, um, Psalms 41 to 10. Um, I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the simply pit, out of the mud and my. He set my feet on a rock. He gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man who makes the Lord his trust and who does not look to the proud. To those who turn aside to false God, many, many, O oh Lord my God, are the wonders you have done, the things you have planned for us. Um, no one can recount to you where, where I too speak and tell of them they will be too many to declare. 
sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but my ears you have pierced, burnt offerings and sin offerings you did not require. Um, then I said, here I am, I have come. It is written about me in the scroll. I desire to do your will, O my God. Your law is within my heart. I proclaim righteousness in the great assembly. I do not seal my lips as you knew, O Lord. I do not hide your righteousness in my heart. I speak of your faithfulness and salvation. I do not conceal your love and your truth from the great assembly. That's the word of the Lord. Um, so as I was as I was reading this book, Psalms, not book, this chapter, Psalms 40, um, I had so many questions in terms of, um, for me, I understood God's will means basically um, serving others, means um, waiting, waiting for God patiently. And as you wait for him, there are some things, there's a way you should be as you wait for God. And David here, he is showing us the advantages of waiting. To non above verse 1, 2, and 3, he says, um, God lifted him out of his despair. Number two, God set his feet on solid ground. Number three, God steadied him as he walked. Number four, God put a new song of praise in his heart. Um, often blessings just don't come that way. They are not received just that way. There is that kuna kitu utahav kulipia and that is basically um, you're going to go through a, a journey of waiting and in that journey you have to be patient and to trust on the Lord. Trust in Akanga, something small until uko like, eh, hey, I need to trust. Kitu ndogo as small as I don't have money to buy something that I need. Trust should be there for you, for you to get it. You need to trust in the Lord. Then um, in verse 6, here it says, sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but my ears you have pierced. Burnt offerings and sins offerings you did not require. So um, in the times of David, they used to offer sacrifices. But David was saying, because they did not have, they were not doing it in the right way. But God calls us, you do it in the right way in what terms? You have, don't do it because it is you doing it. Do it, why, why are you doing it? Come as I okay, let me, lack of a better word, let me say a ritual. Um, we come to church, you pay your tithes, we take Holy Communion. Why are you doing it? Are you doing it because unajua niki tunafaa kufanya? Or are you doing it because you are doing it for God? So God is calling us to a point of obedience because Prophet Samuel also told Saul, obedience is better than sacrifice. So you have to obey. Saul did not obey. Yeah, Leona, you know what God, you know these things, this my, fa my good cattle and livestock, I'm going to give them to you. But that was not God's command towards him. I'll come and be where God doesn't want anything. Because him is so, he wants to give. He did not obey God's command. So we ought to obey God's command. As much as these things are beautiful, but why are you doing it? Have a reason as to why you're doing something. Um, then another highlight was in verse 7 and 8. It says, um, then I said, here I am, I have come. It is written about me in the scroll. I desire to do your will, O oh my God. Your law is within my heart. This, these attributes are that of Jesus. Jesus was, was a high alikwanga ana anauza sana sera za god sindio he was really really selling okay not selling alikuwa anambiana sana about god about repentance about forgiveness of sins and it was it is going in line 
to what the prophets had said about him. So yeah, so we, we tell the Holy Spirit to make us more like Jesus in terms of what? We be people who are willing and ready without fearing, without hiding of what God is going to do and is doing. And then, Bado in verse 9, um, it says, I proclaim righteousness in the great assembly. I do not seal my lips, as you know, O Lord. And verse 10, I do not hide your righteousness in my heart. I speak of your faithfulness and salvation. I do not conceal your heart and your truth from the great assembly. So verse 9, um, once you have realized God's impact in your life, you shouldn't hide from seeing what God has done for you. We be quick to give this good bargain that God has done for you because it is a lot. We can't even count them. Personally, I can't count the much that God has done for me. And when we speak of righteousness, we also ought to be righteous before God. It, these are the qualities that God wants us, we have, and we be. Usiogope kuambia watu, you know what guys, God, I mean, idea and me pata job. God, I mean, idea and me pita exams. Small, small things. Zinaka ati hazi make sense, but because you know where, where God has removed you and where God has led you to. So we do not, to sikue shy, we truly shy off from all these things that God has done for us. Then upper verse 10, that is where the highlight kabisa, kab, the highlight ilikuwa kabisa about faithfulness. Um, when we say um, a faithful friend, what do we understand by a faithful friend? Ntawapatia, the meaning of a faithful friend. A faithful person ni mtu mwenye anaku accept and loves you even when you are unlovable. Have we understood? That is a faithful person. A person who accepts you and loves you even when we are unlovable. And this reminds us of Christ. Christ has loved us. We have sinned a gazillion times, but he is still a friend. And not just he was a friend, a faithful friend. We tend to compare him. We, we tend to compare his faithfulness with that of man, but his is not he was to. It is perfect faithfulness. Perfect faithfulness. So in everything that we do, just know that there is a friend, there is a father who you can rely on when men have, have put you. Wamekweka kando. When you feel as if you're, you are a reject, you are not a reject, you are chosen. And when you feel that you are unlovable, there is someone who loves you the way you are. Ata uki feel aje, uki in despair, when you sin, he still loves you as you are. And now that comes now to us, we need to also be faithful to him. Because it is a two-way thing. Nipatie na mimi nikupatie. So we ought to serve God diligently. And whatever, <clears throat> and whatever we speak to our friends and to our families about him, we should be in line with the things that we are saying. If you say you are, you love, no, you are a faithful person, can people see your faithfulness in you? Are you being faithful to your friends, to your partner? What, in whatever way, are you being faithful to people? If you say you love people, that you love God, do you love the person seated next to you? If you say, Ati God has been kind to me, are you kind to people? So we just ask the Holy Spirit to make us more like Jesus. And it might not be easy as we think, but just trust in him because unaweza. Unaweza. In whatever way, unaweza. So um, right now, I'd want us, you just close your eyes and reflect on where God has led you to, from where you've come from. And then you ask him to make you more like him. 
and tell him, ask him to help you to fully depend on him in times of happiness and in times of sadness. Ask him to help you. Just ask him because he hears and he sees. Because he's a faithful person, he keeps his promises. And one promise that we are being reminded of is that he will never leave us. He will never leave your side. He's going to be there with you in that time of joy, in that time of sorrow. And in all circumstances, we ought to thank him. Even if you don't understand, even if you understand, Hey, just reflect. Where has God led you? What has God done for you? Ask him to help you. And God's love is absolute. It is unconditional. And he sees, he sees every effort that we put. He sees, he hears, and at times he seems as if he's silent. Yes, there's a reason as to why he's silent, but he still sees in that error, in that personality that he has of being silent, he still sees you. and again I'm being reminded that to remind us he still loves you even when even when you sinned he still loves you as you are he sees you He sees and we ought to be consistent we don't be occasional in serving him in praying we be consistent ask him to help you to be consistent in reading the word in praying and to be diligent in our services in ministry and in our social part side of our lives we tend to be diligent we know how to balance Be consistent. It's being highlighted. We be consistent. We be consistent in what we are doing. Yes, it is hard, but tell him, ask him to help you. And he will surely help you. will help you.
Sitoku pali kuzama kwenye maji anani penda yeni mwema Just thank him for those times that he helped you I know we cannot count them but you know them just tell him thank you God if everything just thank God for them in the good times in the bad times that he has helped you just tell him thank you because he has been a faithful and a kind friend to us he has been good to us he has been kind to us I've never seen his kind. I have never seen your kind God. For you have been good and kind to me. You are good. You are kind. I have never seen your kind. I'm devoted to your praise and forever to your name you are good you are kind i have never seen your kind i'm devoted to your praise and forever to your name you are good you are kind i have never seen your kind i'm devoted to your praise and forever to your name you are good you are kind i have never seen your kind i'm devoted to your praise and forever to your name you are good you are kind i have never seen to give you patience ask god to give you patience tell him to teach you how to be patient and how to wait on him as we have seen david he was patient he waited patiently for the lord and he got his rewards so ask the holy spirit to help you to teach you how to be patient how to wait on him talk to him tell him to help you and whatever god highlights for you pray about them whatever it is whatever he's highlighting that you need to work on 
help him to help tell him ask him to help you at times we receive physical instructions about certain things but we tend not to to do them ask the holy spirit to help you work on all these things and you shall see the benefits and the fruits of them on Jesus yes fix your eyes on him fix your eyes on God do not leave that space you know how he has been good to you dependable guide he is a dependable god he is a great shepherd he is going to lead you to the right place and as a sheep we ought to follow our great shepherd and that is jesus ask him he is going to guide you and you shouldn't fear about anything because he's there he is walking with you don't doubt he is there you shouldn't doubt he is there and he sees you and he is there with you just have faith put your trust in him obey his commands seek him serve others diligently serve him diligently and you shall see the benefits of all these things nothing goes unrewarded you shall see the benefits So
you have said let him carry you for a bit soak in that moment we have had a wonderful and a great time to just reflect and connect with the holy spirit some days we have to go beyond words thank you nicole and bev for leading us so well tonight soak in that moment that song reminds me of Ephesians 3:20 says now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than we ask or imagine in another translation it says now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us that power who worketh in us is called the holy ghost him we activate by faith Yes, by faith the elders received a good report. It says in Hebrews 11, by faith the elders received a good report. That faith is the one that we use to activate the power that worketh in us. Now by that power we are able to think and utter or ask things Yes that faith when we ask when we think then by the faith that worketh in us he does exceedingly abundantly above or immeasurably so for a bit longer and then i remind us of Ephesians 6:10 which is our theme this year and then we can be on our way and go and do exploits hallelujah as you soak there now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than we can ask or think he is the one according to the power that worketh within us lord we thank you because you are so gracious to us you are wonderful and tonight you have reminded us how to connect back with the one that you have left to connect us with you even the holy ghost and so tonight receive honor receive praise and glory because you are a good god 
my Father and my God, you who sees the great things in our hearts, you who is the Lord who sees us, see even tonight where we are at. And as we connect with the Holy Spirit, help us, Lord, help us, that in our connecting, Lord, it shall be for your glory, for the edification of your church. Build us up, O King, we pray. Thank you, Lord, for building us up with your word tonight, for making sure that, Lord, we don't leave this place in a downtrodden manner, but we arise in this our might and go to do exploits. For they that know their God, they shall be strong and do exploits. We bless your holy name. And now, Holy Spirit, we pray, we pray that even as we get our charge, as we live here, that to finally be strong, indeed, finally, we can be strong, strengthened by the power of the Holy Spirit that lives in us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And everybody says, and everybody says, hallelujah. You who is online, you who is here, look around you and say a big amen. Make sure that somebody is agreeing with you that we will finally be strong. Yes, says be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the full armor of God so that you will you will take your stand against the devil's schemes. And he says, put on therefore the whole armor so that after having done all, you will do what? You will stand. Amen? Let us be up on our feet as we share in the words of the grace tonight. Yes, hallelujah. Look at somebody and pray for them. Yes, and now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for praying so passionately and so intimately. Thank you for connecting with God. Uh, yes, I hope to see many more of you next week on behalf of our vicar, the Venerable Canon Major Samuel Lube. Uh, thank you. On your way, make sure you're preaching the good news. Amen. Yes, keep preaching the good news. That is how we take everybody to heaven in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We can live with that song, Unaweza Kufanya Mambo Makubwa. Wow.